I'm talking at the moment with Perry Marshall and Kevin Ham. Perry Marshall is from Chicago in the United States and Kevin Ham is from Vancouver in Canada and we have just taken part in the United Kingdom launch of a huge prize to be won by anybody who can produce the genetic code or a genetic code via natural process generating it itself. Mm -hmm. Perry, have I got that right, first of all? That's right. Any code, any, any encoding message decoding system that can come out of an emergent property from chemicals to code yes. would qualify. Yes. And I think it's, a, it's one of the most fundamental questions in all of science. And it just hasn't gotten the attention that it deserves. Yeah, that's right. It hasn't. And I think that's partly why we've been um, highlighting it in the uh, meeting that we've just had here at the Royal Society in London. Um, you can't get much more prestigious than that, can you? No, it's, <laughs> yes, it's, by the way. it's yes. delightful. Yes. Now, question perhaps also to Kevin. Does it really need to be 10 million? You know, I'm, I'm a scientist. To me, that's a huge sum of money. <laughs> what do you think? I actually think it's um, not big enough. I was actually oh, right. proposing a bigger prize <laughs> for more recognition, for yes. more uh, attention, media attention. Uh, money may not be the driving factor for right. a lot of people, right. but it does definitely get it on a, in the spotlight. Yes. And uh, researchers, I, I'm, I'm not sure how financially incented uh, people like, are for this pursuit of knowledge, but I think it does help. Um, you had this uh, prize that Netflix did, and they, just to optimize their own algorithms, and they had teams all over the world. Uh, or Gold Corp had it with their uh, figure out here's all the data, you figure out where the gold is, and teams all over the world figure figure. Yeah. you know where x marks spot so i think that that is you know the the thought behind the prize yes so in theory perry the prize amount can grow well the, the prize as currently defined can't easily grow not easily i mean it could i suppose but the prize could also be extended you know i i've i've had thoughts for example of well, what if we asked for a two-layer code instead of a one-layer code? That would be worth a lot more money. Yes. DNA has yeah. got many more layers than one. Indeed so. Okay, yeah. so, yeah. so, you know, I would, I, I could envision scenarios where if you had more layers, maybe it's a 50 million or a hundred million dollar prize, and yeah. probably we could find people that would back it. But I, I guess I would say this, a lot of money has been spent on origin of life research. Yeah already and it, it, it is expensive to put together a lab we are also paying the money after the research is done not before which yeah. you know well when you do that you kind of need a larger amount to yes. get people's attention oh. Oh. and I well you know Dennis you wrote a chapter in a book called from matter to life by Sarah Walker and Paul Davies and that's one of the only books that seriously looks seriously ta tackles this issue. Yes, at that, this question, right. yeah. um, there's a lot of books that talk about it, but they come from some kind of a religious perspective of assuming that it just yeah. can't be solved. Yes, but that that book is about well, how do we solve this? Indeed, so. And there's many different directions yeah. stabbing at it. And and uh, you know, my sense is, okay, they they care about this question and they pulled together people, but what if there were entire conferences devoted to this topic? Indeed. What if there were entire journals devoted to this topic? I, I, yeah. That needs to happen. Yeah. So this is the launch of at least the prize here in the United Kingdom. Yeah. And we thank you both for coming over as the founder and one of the big investors in the prize for talking to Voices from Oxford today. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you for having us. Yeah. Thank mm -hmm. you.